All right, welcome to module three. We're talking about my favorite topic this week, the topic, the, the, the art, the craft of acting. Uh, and I can tell you stories about being an actor, everything I've learned from it, where I've worked, but we don't care about that. We care about you because you're going to be the actor this week, and I'll talk about that later. All right, so what are we doing this week? First of all, you've already read the introduction and the objectives, and you've already kind of mapped out what you're going to, you, uh, everything you're going to do this week, right? Because, you know, you've log you're logging in on Monday and Tuesdays. Aren't you? Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, after that, you're going to read the chapter, The Actors. And then the videos that I have this week are, uh, are, are giving you what's talked about in the chapter, examples that you can visually see. And they are the play performers. I have three lectures on there uh, that summarize the chapter. And then I have one about Konstantin Stanislavski, who is talked about in modern acting. Uh, and I think you'll find this very interesting. So watch the, watch those closely uh, and take notes on those lectures uh, you're gonna watch uh, the three very famous acting teachers uh, Stella Adler uh, Lee Strasberg and Uta Hagen work with students uh, taking learning about acting these are kind of old videos they were very famous but people still use those techniques and guess what they're using the they're using the system of Konstantin Stanislavski which you just learned about in the chapter in my lecture yeah isn't it exciting uh, and then uh, people go to uh, they major in theater they major in acting they also major in being a musical theater performer so and that's talked about and so I have that on there as well. You're going to see a program at UW. Uh, there's a summer Shakespeare intensive with the Stella Adler uh, Studio of Acting. Uh, you'll see students learning uh, uh, Shakespeare, just little clippets of things, so pay close attention to that. Don Cheadle is a famous actor that you'll probably recognize when you see him talk about the process of acting and how to become a working actor. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, watch that closely. And then you're going to see how to become a professional actor. Uh, it's uh, This is talked about in the chapter as well. Uh, you'll see the process of the things that you need to do to become a professional actor to start off with. And then there is a quiz that you can take as many times as you want because you're watching it very closely. So watch these videos closely. Pay close attention. That's what we do in the theater. When we go into live theater, we pay close attention because I want to make sure that you're watching these videos. And then there's a journal assignment, and I'm going to talk about that next. All right, the journal assignment. So before you get to the journal, there's an explanation of what's coming up, all right? And you're going to see scenes from The Seagull by Anton Chekhov, a West Side Story, uh, a chorus line, two very famous musicals, a fight scene from Macbeth and Macduff, and then a monologue from a play called Goodbye Charles, okay? And you're going to, you're, after you watch these, you're going to critique these performances, all right? All right, so here's the rules, okay? Uh, you, the rule is that you must mention the actor's name. You can't just mention the character. It needs to be in your journal. Not mentioning the actor's name, for instance, your first scene is going to be The Seagull by Anton Chekhov, and you're going to watch Franklin Jella as Kostya, and then you're going to watch Blythe Danner as Nina. All right. So when you're critiquing, you must write Franklin Jella as Kostya, uh, uh, etc. for everything and critique the acting. Show me what you've learned from the chapter that I have the book down here and the videos about acting. For instance, maybe he used an internal process or maybe he might, I might appear as an, uh, what did he do physically, vocally, uh, you know, did it work for you? You're critiquing, so use the actor's name. It's all on here, send me questions if you don't understand. And then when we get into musical theater and ensemble, do the same thing. I've got clear instructions. Not using the actor's name, I will not give you points. Period. You will not get points because this is a practice for the production critique. And you're not predicting, you're not predicting, you're not critiquing the play, you're, you're, you're critiquing the performance. So you've already done what is the play attempting? What is the play attempting? Last one, right? And this time you're looking at acting. And the next time we're going to look at directing. All right? Makes sense? Let me know if it doesn't. All right, moving forward, there's one more project that you're going to do. All right, so after you've done incredibly well on the journal, and I've, and I've gone great critique on this, uh, and you've used examples of something of what you saw to, for support for your journal and when you critique your actors, using their names, right, the names of the actors, 
Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe people that don't do that. I don't understand why. Maybe they're not watching this. Or they're not reading. Anyway, we're moving forward. Uh, so you're going to act this week. So I have an assignment where you're going to do a monologue. I have a link for monologues. You can use, uh, they only have to be one minute. It's like a small paragraph. You can use maybe uh, something from a film you love or maybe uh, a play that you did in high school or just a play in general. or But something that you are going to act with and in, in, in the camp. Camera, all right. Uh, it's all on here. That I've got an example on there showing a person doing a monologue in front of a camera. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, you can use your phone uh, and put it and put it somewhere where you know, boom, boom, and, and do it that way. Uh, you can do it with your uh, webcam. Uh, I have a camera that I audition with for films and stuff. You can do a, a, a movie camera, whatever. But uh, just do it, and I'm going to give you an example of how to do it. And there's an example on here. Here. It only has to be one minute. I'm not timing it. I just want to see you try. I'm not looking for perfection. I just want you to experience what it's like to be another person just for one minute. Like, actors must do that. All right, so I'm going to give you an example. Uh, I give, I had, I've had people do this in the past, and I've never announced it, but I give some extra credit for someone who wants to attempt, attempt Shakespeare, okay? And I'm going to do a Shakespearean monologue, a quick one, really fast. So uh, if you want to do that, you're welcome to. You don't have to, uh, but I, I do give extra credit for that. All right, here is an example. I'm going to do a monologue for you really quickly. You'll notice that my eye contact, it can be either just to the left or right of the camera because I've memorized my lines. Have an eye, like you are. Right? All right. And I'm looking to the camera. For this particular uh, monologue, because I'm talking to the audience, I'm going to look directly into the, to, to you at the in the lens. Because in Shakespeare, it would be done to the audience. Okay? Makes sense? I'm going to do this monologue. I'll be right back. Hi there. My name is Sean Parker, and I'm doing a monologue from Othello, the character of Iago. What's he then that says I play the villain when the advice is free I give? An honest, probable to thinking, and indeed the course to win the more again. For tis most easy the inclining Desdemona to subdue in any honest suit. <laughs> She's framed as fruitful as the free elements. <laughs> and, and for her to win the more, were it to renounce his baptism, all seals and symbols of redeemed sin. His soul is so infetted with her love that she may make, unmake, do what she list, even as her appetite shall play the god with his weak function. <laughs> uh, how am I then a villain to counsel Cassio to this parallel course directly to his good? divinity of hell. Mm -hmm. When devils will the blackest sins put on, they do suggest with heavenly shows, as I do now. <laughs> and whilst this honest fool plies Desdemona to repair his fortunes, and she for him please strongly to the more, <laughs> I'll pour this pestilence into his ear, that she reveals him for her body's lust. And by how much she strives to do him good, she will undo her credit with the more. <laughs> and so I will turn her virtue into pitch, and out of the goodness make the net that shall enmesh them all. <laughs> Okay, so that was probably uh, over a minute, probably close to two, who knows. But yours only has to be a minute, all right, for your, for your assignment. So have fun with it, you know, just try. Uh, some people have acted before, and that's awesome. All right, so after that, all you have to do is read the summary, and then you're done with Module 3. This is only a, a, you know, other ones have been Part 1 and Part 2. This is a Part 1 only, just one module, okay? There's no two parts to it. Anyway, have fun this week. If you have questions, let me know. That's what I'm here for. And please, don't wait till Sunday night. It's just not helping some people and they still do it. Bye.